Hey everybody, here's my Xantrex C40 charge controller. I've got it hooked up right now in just a really basic system. Uh, following the main components on their instruction manual in here. So right now I've got a disconnect for the PV panels and the charge controller. Over here I have a 48 volt battery pack. It's just 12 volts hooked up in series. And then if we come around to the sunny side here, here is my Kanika 60 watt panel. It's uh, 67 volts, 0.9 amps. And the output of the panel right here comes down the back, down these two black wires, and that goes into the disconnect. So by having this lever down, the panel is disconnected. And what I have to do is close it up and flip that switch, and now the PV is connected. On the charge controller, the green light is blinking just once, meaning the batteries are low, which is expected. These batteries are kind of cold. They've just been sitting in my garage right now. So the power comes from the disconnect, over into here and then also from here to the batteries and then I have the batteries just rigged up on a basic little manual disconnect right now um, so I'm just testing this but um, on the full-blown system um, I still need a lightning arrestor uh, the diagram also calls for um, a ground rod and a, uh, a ground fault protection so I'll have to figure out what I need to do for those two but right now I'm just testing this out and it looks like it's working just fine. Although without the display feature on the controller, I don't have any way of uh, checking my system voltage other than just using a typical plain little voltmeter. And I don't have any way of tr tr tracking amperage. So I'll have to see about adding some sort of a small ammeter into the system to see how much power is coming in from the panels. <laughs>